We've got the new game from White Wizard, Sorcerer. Tell me about it. So Sorcerer uh, combines uh, a strategy card game with uh, some elements of like tabletop war game uh, okay. and uh, mashes them together in Sor Sorcerer's uh, set in uh, Victorian London. Uh, players are playing evil sorcerers. Uh, the uh, dimensions between the worlds is coming down. Sorcerers are regaining their magical powers and they're taking over the world. That's a foregone okay. conclusion. But there is the matter of which sorcerer rules which area. So you're okay. battling with another sorcerer for control of uh, London. Is that what the cards in the middle here? Exactly. The, 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 yeah, so there, these right? uh, these boards uh, are, uh, are different battlefields. Um, okay. So when um, you play a card in the game, um, like if you play a minion down, you have to choose which of the three battlefields um, okay. you'll play it into, and it will affect that battlefield only. So, I see you got some fantastic artwork. Yeah, so the artwork on the game is beautiful. It's got really great uh, component quality, um, and uh, um, everything you see here on the table is all a single uh, set of Sorcerer. Uh, at the beginning of the game on Sorcerer, each player creates their Sorcerer by choosing one of the four character decks and combining that with one of the four lineage decks and one of the okay. four domain decks. So, for example, um, you might choose the... So um, a lot of replay value. Yeah, there's a lot of different combinations. So, for example, I might choose that deck, uh, uh, this lineage deck, and this domain deck, and then you take these cover cards off and uh, uh, set them next to you. These would each give you special abilities you could use during the game wherever you place your uh, avatar so standee. You're so you'd play that in one of the three battlefields. In that location, you can use these special abilities. Um, and uh, uh, you can still play stuff in other locations. It says that, uh, that location, you have special powers that you can yeah. use. This also gives you your character's uh, true name. In this case, you'd be playing Masilda, the demonologist of the Screaming Coast. Uh, and if you said that name to someone who knew the game, they would know what powers you had. They'd also know the contents of your deck because you would shuffle these three decks together to make your deck yeah. for that game. Um, so, uh, so is the idea that you're planning on having like tournament set up set up? Uh, so uh, we uh, we will have events at uh, conventions and such, uh, but uh, um, the game is uh, uh, is great for just table play with your uh, with your friends. Yeah. Uh, it's a um, it's a four complete four player game out of the box, uh, so you don't need your own cards. You buy one box, everybody yeah. uh, gets to play. And while you're building a deck and playing cards uh, like a strategy card game, once the guys are on the table, they uh, um, uh, they when you attack with them, you roll dice. Um, so, for example, with this guy, with attacks, he would roll. He has a four attack, so he would roll four dice. And um, the stars are critical hits. The skulls are hits. If you got a blank, that's a miss, and if you get a double skull, that does two hits. Okay. The attacking player gets to assign the damage from their critical hits first. You can either put so it on your opponent's minions, or you could put it on their side of the battlefield. So in this case, okay. you'd be like, oh, I've got two critical hits. This guy already has two damage on him. I'm going to do two more damage, and that would kill him because he has a defensive four. Yeah. Uh, that would kill him before he got to attack. So that would be a, a great scenario for you. And then the regular damage the defending player applies. They can put it on their side of the battlefield or their minions any way they want to do it. Um, yeah, like then, they, they, then their hand would be forced. Exactly. Um, so what happens... If you, you can get your opponent's side of the battlefield to 12 damage. So let's say I got 12 damage over here. Yeah. You would flip the uh, battlefield over to the ruined side of the city put a control marker on your side of it, and you've won that battlefield. If you can win two out of the three battlefields, you, you win, win the game. game. Um, okay. And uh, so Roughly how long does a game take to play? Um, it takes about an hour uh, to okay. play, a uh, two-player game. Um, and uh, your first game will take longer because you're reading lots of cards, etc. Yeah. But about an hour is the play length once, you, once both players know what they're doing. Okay. And this is out now, is that right? uh, We have it here at uh, UK Games Expo for sale for the first time. Uh, okay. And then it's uh, we'll also have it at Origins in the, uh, in the US. And then the release date is June 20th, so it'll be available in stores. 
uh, on June 20th. Okay. And then in August, we have some expansion packs coming for it, which will give you more characters, more lineages, more domains. Yeah. So, no, again, non-random. Uh, when you buy this, you're getting a new character, new deck that you can add to your stuff, so it gives you another thing to choose from. Like Star Realms exactly non-random yeah. uh, expansion packs. Yeah, because uh, I mean, it becomes such a money sink when you have the random. Yeah, exactly. Really yeah, this you can get what you want to play. Just pick what you want to get and uh, and how, pick that how up. How much is the base box? Uh, the US MSRP is forty nine ninety nine, um, and uh, I believe when you add in VAT and switch to pounds, it's probably be in like the. I'm gonna guess. Around 50 pounds, but it might be slightly, you know, uh, off in one direction or the other. Are you selling these packs as well this yeah. weekend? So, uh, yep. So basically, the character pack is now they'll be the packs will be available in stores in August, but we have a uh, uh, basically some available here yeah. at this show. Uh, the character packs are uh, five dollars. The uh, the um, uh, lineage pack is ten dollars. The the big one on the right oh, and. Okay. Uh, and the domain pack is uh, is five dollars. And so, if you picked up each of those, and then this extra player board here, you could you play five players. Uh, yeah, you uh, you yeah you could. If we also have additional battlefields, um, and uh, uh, and there'll be new uh, sets coming out down the uh, a new characters. Uh, lineages and domains coming out down the road so uh we're planning this winter to have a uh, another set of the three so at that point you'll be able that to go up to six players by essen or um it'll probably be after essen they'll probably okay. we're, I, we're we're hoping to get it out before christmas Either that'll be early next year we're basically the files we're finalizing them getting ready to send to the printer okay that's yeah. great awesome Thanks. thank okay. you yeah.